All right, guys, we are going to try something new. I bought one of those TikTok types of like the thing that you put around your neck so that I can show you guys what I am doing up close. Um, I did not do anything May, June, or July with the boys schedule tab, um, but I am working on it right now. I'm going to go ahead and start working on it for August um, and then for September just because I'm trying to plan my days and my weeks. So those of you that have followed my channel or those that are new, um, I am a co-parent of two kids. Uh, my older three, I co-parent with my first ex-husband. We get along super great. Um, and our kids are out of the nest. However, the two younger ones um, still co-parent. And um, it is turning more into parallel parenting versus co-parenting, to say the least. However, I think it's really important that even in the planner world, we have topics like this that affect your day-to-day, -day, right? So um, what I'm going to do is these little calendars are, I buy them through Franklin Covey, and um, I really like them. I've got one for my real estate business. I've got um, the one for the boys' schedule. So the one, again, for this video is going to be just the boys' schedule. If this thing looks cattywampus, y'all, I'm learning, okay? Um, but here we go. So for August, today we are at August 10th. So I'm not really going to focus on going backwards with the um, with the schedule. I'm not going to go back to August 1. I'm just going to stay focused on like where we are right now. So I have the boys yesterday, today, tomorrow, and then I'll have them again Monday and Tuesday. They go back to their dads on Wednesday. So we have what's called a 5225 schedule. And then he's going to have them through the weekend, and I don't get them back until Monday. So then I would have them back Monday, Tuesday. He'll have them back Wednesday, Thursday. And then I'll have them again Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Um, they go back to their dads on Wednesday, Thursday, and then he would have them through that weekend. Um, this right here, I had been using purple as the color for the kids, but I don't know where my purple highlighter went. And I asked Wit, and he has a like a supply box. And I said, hey, Wit, can I borrow your purple highlighter? He's like, mom, I don't have a purple highlighter. I said, all right, well, we're just going to improvise, and I'm going to start using blue for the boys. Um, so again, so dad will have them through that Saturday, going into Sunday the 1st. I would pick them back up again um, after school, Monday, Tuesday, I will have them. He would have them Wednesday, Thursday in September. This one is where the co-parenting part gets a little bit tricky because on this particular week, um, he has a Wednesday, Thursday, and then I have them Friday, but his, their dad's birthday is on September 7th. So he has them kind of, this day picks them up in the morning, this day um, returns them back after a certain time. So this I'm going to keep as like a halfway mark and I will end up making a note um, so that I don't forget because I don't want to be like, wait, what? So right here, kids, dad, B-day, and then returns AM. That's how I'm doing it. I'm doing it in pencil. Um, just so that I leave it in pencil. I, I tend to write a lot of my planning stuff in pencil. Um, so there's that. And then we have, so then we go back to like kind of regular programmed schedule, right? Like, so then it would be where I have them Monday, Tuesday, you would have them Wednesday, Thursday, and then I'm going to have them this weekend. Tuesday. And then they return back to him Wednesday, Thursday, and then he would have them that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I go back to Monday, Tuesday. So these little calendars, I think, are really helpful because just, again, from a co-parenting perspective and aerial view, it helps you. What are my days? What are not my days? If you don't necessarily want to whip out your, like, iPhone calendar or your Android calendar, whatever, um, it just helps kind of keep it all um, as organized as possible for you. So um, that would be my weekend. And then this one is his weekend. And then this one, okay. And then I go back here. And it will end up being my weekend again. There we go. So again, I'm only going to do for August and September for the sake of this video. But this is what it ends up looking like. So as you can see, it kind of just gives you a clear, a clear version of 
of what needs to be done. Um, and then I will end up going later on to October, November, December. Those are going to look a little bit trickier because, again, we tend to have a lot of holidays um, during the tail end of the year. And then because of the co-parenting schedule, um, we rotate every other year with certain stuff. So even if it falls on your what would have been your normal day, et cetera. So I'm going to need to pull out... Um, my decree. Those of you that do follow my channel know that in my planner, so this is a Tyler Binder classic, um, I keep a copy of my decree with me because, again, unfortunately, I wish the situation was such where it was amicable and just a lot easier and kind of team player of like, hey, can I help you? Can you help me? We ain't got it like that. So I need to keep that because it helps me better understand um, the schedule and all of those things. Um, readily on hand so I don't have to like scroll through a million things on my phone. Um, but anyways, I will do a different video with my weekly spread for this week. I'm really excited. Um, my volume of activity has been really picking up, which makes me super excited. But anyways, I see you. I love you. You matter to me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.